Seriously? Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Brock Upside. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn was directed by Kathy Yin, and this time around Harley Quinn officially breaks up with the Joker and decides to go all independent and stuff, but one way or another she ends up in the crosshairs of Black Mask, and all kinds of shenanigans occur involving the Black Canary, Huntress Renee Montoya, and a whole lot of fun R-rated action. But before we go any further, if you guys are new here and you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you live talking by movies. But anyway, let's just get right into it. Harley Quinn, of course, played by Margot Robbie, absolutely steals the show. She just keeps getting better and better in the role of Harley Quinn. Of course, she had a really good debut as the character in Suicide Squad, but this time around, it's basically a Harley Quinn solo movie with all these other characters coming along. So she just feels fully unleashed this time around, you know, just nailing the sense of humor a little bit more and is more the attitude, and on top of all that, she finally gets her pet hyena, which is absolutely cool, I'm really glad they incorporated that into this live action movie. And the whole movie is basically told from her perspective and she narrates pretty much most of it, so you gotta get to see how her mind works when telling a story because, you know, she'll start out in this one area, go through some stuff, and be like, oh shit, I forgot to explain this guy, let's just go back a little bit, okay, oh crap, well, well, well we're back to this point where we gotta talk about this character, let's rewind a little bit. So that led to some really fun storytelling elements, I think it was just the perfect way to capture a Harley Quinn story from the perspective of Harley Quinn. But without a doubt, Black Canary was my favorite character next to Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. She was just such a badass character, but still kept a sense of humor. And on top of that, she can sing really, really well. And the Canary Cry is also here too. So it was just really cool to see the Black Canary character realized in a movie because, you know, well, Arrow, they did like a million different Black Canaries in that show, so to finally get one more true Black Canary here, I was really happy about that. But all the main birds of prey are really good in this movie, including Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who plays the Huntress. You know, of course, she's this really badass assassin with a crossbow, but where a lot of the humor of her character comes in is that she's the only one that takes herself very seriously, a little too seriously, and everyone else just kind of, you know, joking around, and she's all just stoic, be like, hey, stop laughing, I have a crossbow, do not fuck with me. And I really hope we do get to see more Black Canary and more Huntress in future movies, because I think these two could definitely lead their own solo movies if they wanted to and even maybe a Birds of Prey sequel down the line because I really like seeing these two come to life here. And of course we can't go without talking about Ewan McGregor as Roman Sionis, aka Black Mask. Now I figured Ewan McGregor was going to do a really good job playing this character, but wow. His performance starts out in maybe a little bit of an unexpected way with Roman Sionis, you know, just kind of this, you know, charisma and swagger to him which you might not expect from the character but then he can just completely snap and then turn to this really intense, intimidating, rather scary guy, actually. And I'm like, well, that's definitely Black Mask, and Ewan McGregor just pulls it off perfectly. But aside from the cast, the biggest standout of this movie is the action. It's gritty, grounded, colorful, extremely violent, and also pretty funny as well. I mean, you got this one scene where Harley Quinn storms a Gotham police department with a confetti gun, and then a few minutes later, she's attacking hitmen with a bag of cocaine to the face. It's just all over the place, bonkers, and I just loved every single minute of it. And when you see these action scenes unfold in the movie, it's like, yeah, this movie definitely needed to be R-rated to fully flesh these scenes out, so I was totally okay with that. And man, when all these badass female characters came together to just kick all kinds of ass together. It was just the most satisfying thing ever. I was just staring completely wide-eyed at the screen like, holy crap. I love everything that's going on right now. And oddly enough, one of the big positives of the movie, I think, can be kind of a negative in that 
some characters very much overshadow the rest of the cast, so it feels like some characters here and there don't get the proper chance to shine like others do, but yeah, that's because the focus is more on these guys, not so much the other guys, so I guess that was kind of bound to happen. I just really would have liked to see a little bit more of a balance between, you know, some of the characters with some of the other ones. We'll kind of get into that more when we can talk spoilers, and of course, this entire movie takes place in Gotham City with major Batman villains and all, and of of course I knew that Batman wasn't going to be in the movie, nor did he need to be, but I just couldn't help but feel like there were a couple moments in the movie where it's like, okay, Batman would have definitely shown up by now, especially in the beginning of the movie where Harley Quinn, you know, blows up Ace Chemicals and raids a police station. It's like, the rest of the movie, it's a smaller, more grounded piece, so it's like, yeah, okay, Batman doesn't have to be there, but there it's like... Ace Chemicals just blew up Batman, you gonna step in like sometime today? But honestly, I just had an overall blast with this movie, it was just a really good time, it was under two hours, I honestly wish it could have been a lot longer. You know, it just kind of feels like this is how the Suicide Squad movie that we got, you know, after it was cut up and re-edited to look at the trailers, this, this movie feels like what it was supposed to be like, but here it actually works, so, I mean overall, really good movie, enjoyed it a lot. So, just to wrap this shit up, so all in all, Birds of Prey was a really fun and absolutely crazy DC movie. We got some more badass female comic book characters just doing badass female comic book character things. I enjoyed this cast immensely. I really want to see more Black Canary and more Huntress in the future, so... Hopefully we do get solo movies or sequels to Birds of Prey down the line, so... I think so far, I mean, the future of DC is still looking incredibly bright lately, so I guess we'll just, uh, see where this all goes, but I think we'll definitely be seeing more of these guys very, very soon. So, those are my thoughts on Birds of Prey, and again, if you have any, make sure that subscribe button if you live talking by movies, and if you want to hear more of some spoiler talk, then go check out this video in a couple of days when I do a full spoiler review, but anyway, so... If you guys have seen this movie and you want to give your thoughts on it, then consider leaving a thought about that down below, and we'll see you on the Black Oops side.